I'm here to help my dad tackle some of the questions that you guys have been asking. So, first one is, why are my tiles cracking? There could be a few reasons. Uh, one, poor insulation. Uh, maybe they have improperly mixed the mortar or a lot of the times we're, we're bonding ceramic, porcelain, stone tile directly onto a wooden subfloor. They expand and contract at different rates and something's got to give. So oftentimes your tiles crack or your grout crack. So that is probably why you're experiencing cracked tiles. How is renovating a basement bathroom different than renovating an upstairs bathroom? Basement bathrooms are on the slab, so they're on concrete. Uh, upstairs, the plumbing is underneath the subfloor. So if you have to move a drain, it's a lot harder to move in the basement. You have to break up the concrete, patch the concrete. Um, so that is the big difference. On top of that, if you're looking at in-floor heating, you wanna look into products like Dietra Heat Duo that has a thermal blanket on the bottom. So the concrete doesn't absorb the heat and that your, your tiles are absorbing the heat properly. Love the boardroom table. What color stain did you use, Mike Holmes Jr.? We're looking for a similar color for the live edge table we just built. So the boardroom table, it's a beautiful black walnut table. Uh, I believe it was either Ciranova or Rubio Mono Coat, and it was just the natural stain. So it's an oil, it's not a stain, it's a natural oil that we applied to the table. Last question. My husband, actually not the last question. My husband and I want to make a dining table with live edge wood and epoxy. Mike Holmes Jr., do you have to apply anything to the molds to make it easier to remove? You know, the way you grease a pan so the cake comes out in one piece. I do know that reason. So what we do is we build a form out of MDF. Then we put tuck tape over every square inch of that form. I caulk the joints on the corners because you're building a form and glue it all together. That way the epoxy can't seep out. The epoxy won't stick to the tuck tape itself. So that is uh, what we use as a barrier in between. What's wrong with this photo? To me, this looks like aluminum wiring tied into copper wiring. Now, what happens is because one runs a little bit hotter than the other, this can cause an electrical fire. And also the sheathing on this wiring looks like it is exposed, which also can be very dangerous. Found this photo online, what's actually wrong with it? So when you're replacing a head on any extension cord or device, you wanna make sure that the wiring is fully covered. That's not safe to have that exposed right there where you can actually see the sheathing behind this armor here. Well, I hope I've answered all of your questions. If you have any more questions, please reach out to us and we'll do our best to help you.